What's up, guys, and welcome to Leany Boog. I hope I'm saying that correct, but this is a horror game that just came out today, the full release, that is. And from what I've heard, we're apparently, like, trapped in a house, so I guess we're living in our house, and a fox breaks in and tries to eat us. That's really all I know about this game. I just know we're stuck in a house, he tries to break in and eat us, and it sounds like that's, it's gonna be pretty fun. I don't know, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but getting trapped in a house, hunted by a fox, that sounds like a lot of fun. So of course, if you guys want to see me play more of this game, be sure to leave a like on the video down below, absolutely crush it, and I'll do another video on this game tomorrow. And in the comment section down below, let's get some fox emojis right now if you're excited. And, in, and let me know, are you guys scared of foxes? Because me personally, I mean, if it's like a life-size one like this, yeah, I'm terrified. But like a fox in real life, eh, it's not the scariest thing, but let me know. All right, let's go ahead and press play, though, and hop in. All right, so what's this? Oh, I can only do new game for right now, but you can change his skin. Difficulty, easy, medium, harder, nightmare. All right, let's go ahead and do medium, right? I mean, we could try nightmare. Eh, like I said, another video if you guys want to see it. All right, here we go. So medium difficulty. To play this game, you need to use headphones. It is highly not recommended to set the volume to high. It can harm your ears. Oh, finally, a, a developer that actually says that. All right, so I have headphones on. I'm gonna, I usually play with one off, but we'll play with them both on because I'm assuming I'm gonna have to like listen to where he's gonna break into, I guess. An Alexander Bazinoff game. Okay. It's like Foxy in real life, or Foxy in a different game. <laughs> Leany Boog. I don't think it's Lenny. Yeah, it's gotta be Leany. Oh boy. It's like a movie. All right, well, let's do this. Oh, we're in. Oh. Okay, what's going on here? Um, inspect the office. Oh, there's a camera watching me. Huh, is this my office? Oh crap, I just opened that. Hold on, I didn't even get to inspect. Okay, so I guess I was working and yeah, I'm just leaving work. All right. Is there gonna be a jump scare though? Open this, no? Okay, I can't go through that. Oh, this door. Press E to interact with what? Oh, that door. Oh, what does this say? It's a bunch of like, Writing, huh? Another office. So I wasn't working here alone, which is good. There's at least other people here, or there was at some point. Let's see what's in here. Okay, wait, a number. The number one is there. Wait, is that in every office? Why is there just a number one there? Yes, yeah, it's, it's only in that office. That's weird. Purple guy, is that you? Oh no, I thought I was like, <laughs> I thought that was purple guy for a second. FNAF? Okay. Let's see what's over here. The last office. Jump scare? No. Alright, so... Inspect the offices. I'm inspecting, alright. I don't exactly see anything, though. What am I looking for? Because, yeah, there's nothing here to interact with. Alright, this is creeping me out, though. I just... I know there's gonna be some kind of, like, loud sound at some point, right? What's up with this one up here? Can I not grab that? This is the only office that we really didn't look too much in. No, there's nothing there. All right, let's go back to my office. Even if I found other numbers, I wouldn't know what to do with them. How come that's like the one door that I can't open though? Like, oh, wait, find the noise source. Oh crap. Is that door open now? No. Okay. I don't see anything. Is he gonna be in the last office, dude? This just looks like it's set up for like a jump. Oh my god! Oh! It was a fox! Okay, run! Oh my god, is he actually chasing me? I'm dead. Oh. Alright, we're back in our office. Dude, I knew it, dude. That door, I told you, it was set up for a jump scare. It was. Oh no, I'm literally trapped. In Can I not just, just open the window and get out? Go on, hide under the table. I can't hide. I can't do anything. Besides, wait for my. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Like I was going to say, besides wait for my impending doom. M5... what? Not so long ago, we received information that shortly before his disappearance, Subject 88 visited his relatives in the vicinity of New Garaz. According to our data, Subject 88 left a certain envelope in the house, the contents of which are still considered unknown. In addition, we learned that the attacker who committed the brutal murder of a security guard in the archive last week Oh, that was a week. data about this house. Probably the attacker is also looking for this envelope. So the attacker is the fox, and we were that security guard right there in the archive. Oh, crap. Are we in? Yeah, we're in. What's this? How to play. Your task is to listen carefully to which part of the house... Oh, I need to turn my volume way more than... Um, which part of the house the monster is running to so that you can close the window in time? 
To close the window, hold down the E key. So it's just literally like FNAF, but like a different version of it in a way. Where like, I've got to get to different things and close. Like instead of doors, it's windows. And we have to survive the night. Oh my god. I hear... I heard... I can hear him over here. Is it this one? I don't know. I don't hear him anymore. I heard him though. What? Where is he? He's not making any more noise. I think it was this window. I don't know though for sure. Oh crap, dude. We're gonna lose. Oh no, yeah, we lost. Okay. All right. All right. We've got to get to the window way faster than I thought. All right. So we have a timer. Oh, that's cool. You can change the difficulty like on the fly if you want to. That's actually really nice. All right. So we're going to, you can skip the whole level. Wow. That's surprising. Okay. Let's go ahead and try again. I just, okay. We need to go to this sound as soon as we hear it. All right. Let's go. Does it just start? I heard him. The timer started. Okay. I heard him here. Unless he's upstairs. But the window's not open, so... Will he open the window at some point? I'm guessing he will, because he was in the house with me. So, like, he got in through one of the windows. Oh, crap. I hope it wasn't the one upstairs. I think I really need to just boost my audio even more. The only good thing is you can see him... Oh, crap! Yep, you can see him before he gets to you, at least. So it's not like a complete jump scare. I like this game so far. I like it. It's not like overly complicated. It, obviously, I'm, it's, I'm still learning, but I do like what we're playing. I like how it's not just, you know, a bunch of jump scares that are unnecessary. Like it, you can boost your audio without getting going deaf. I hear him over here. It's just, it's hard to tell what floor he's on. That's the only problem. I heard him here, but it could be the bottom floor. Let's check the bottom floor. Let's see. Maybe we can spot him before he... Oh, there's no window there. Oh, crap. Okay, this is one of those... This is one of those situations. No. He has to be at this one. I heard him. But he's not. Oh, my God. Who? Oh. I heard something. Dude, I think he's at like that bottom corner window. Yeah, he's not at this window. Oh crap, dude. Okay. <laughs> this guy is destroying me right now. Oh man. All right, I have my volume up to max basically. Let's try it again. Like literally at max. I can hear where he's coming from. It's just hard to tell what floor it is. Okay. What? It sounded like he was here. The window is closed, though. It's a door. There's a window here. It's not here, though. He's got to be upstairs. It's got to be this window over here. No. What the heck, dude? Oh, crap. We definitely lost again. I just want to know, like, I want to see him. Okay, it's first floor. It's first floor. We're dead, though. Oh, my God! It was that window upstairs, dude. It was. Oh, man. Okay, so... So far, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm just trying to listen. Let's try staying upstairs. I haven't heard him move. Why isn't he moving? Oh, no. What? Is he in? What is going on? Oh, my gosh. I don't know what is happening. I think he's in. What? I'm so confused as to what is happening right now. Oh my god, he's all the way over here. I think I lost him. 
No, he's still here. I, I don't know what's happening. I changed the difficulty to easy. And now he's doing all types of noises. Okay, go back. All right, make a noise. What's going on? He's like not making footsteps anymore. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he's on this side somewhere. I think he. Oh my gosh, dude, that was so loud. Holy crap, that was so loud. I had to lower my volume there. Was he. He's not even. What is happening? He's upstairs? There he is. I don't know what's going on with the, the sound design in this game. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why, but this, just the sound design is so bad for me. Like, I, I haven't seen anyone else play this game, so it might just be everyone, but man, is it bad. For me, at least. Alright, let's go again. Let's listen. Uh, you can definitely tell what side he's on, like left or right. It's just telling what floor he's on that's, like, impossible. He's... There he is. Okay, I think those sound effects are, like, to help find him. Holy crap, they are just loud. Alright, come on, come on, come on. I haven't heard the dun yet, so... What's going on? What? Is he still here? Wow, that took forever that time. I don't know what that was. Alright, let's listen for more noises. So, like, that sounds like he's upstairs, like, on the roof. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh my gosh, why does it do that? Alright. 140 more seconds to go and then we beat this night. They're pretty long nights, too, surprisingly. Like, they're at least, was that, like, 8 minutes? 6, 7 minutes? Something like that? No, that's not him leaving. I don't let go of this until I hear that dun like that. There we go. All right, let's listen again. I'm guessing he's gonna go downstairs. No, that's upstairs. Yeah, upstairs somewhere. Oh crap! He's got to be at this window. Yeah, he is. Okay. Close it up. All right, listen for the dun. So maybe that's what it was, just those sounds I was hearing, they... Even though they sound like he's upstairs, like... He's just always downstairs with that sound effect. But then if you hear, like, the roof... That's how you know he's upstairs? No, but I've heard him do that when he was downstairs, so I don't know. Yeah, he's upstairs. But where? He ran over to this side, I think. Okay, so this is... This is how you can tell when he's upstairs, whenever you hear the roof sound effect. Which is just so strange, because I wasn't hearing this before. What was that? Is he downstairs? What was that noise? No. Oh my god. I don't know where he is, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, he's downstairs. He didn't even- what? He... Great. He's all the way over here? This is the last place I heard him. Oh my gosh. We, la we lost at the last second. Are you kidding me? Literally the last second, dude. Alright, well, come on in. Where you at? I'm just gonna sit in this corner and await my death. <laughs> Cause it's happening. Here he comes around that corner any second now. Come on in, just do it. Why is the music so intense right now? What's happening? Okay, yes, I get it. He's coming to get me. Okay, yep, just go ahead. And I get eaten. <laughs> Dang it, so close. Oh, wait, what? It's showing me... Huh? Oh, I won? According to our data, the son and father of Subject 88 okay. live in this house. The father is currently away. As everyone knows, Representatives of the Brevis Homo race have a small stature, thanks to which the son of Subject 88 managed to leave without leaving any traces. After a search of the house, the same prints were found as in the infamous archive. 
Apparently, it was the same killer. After analyzing the phone calls, we found out that a certain citizen living in the Artacticon district called this house the other day, before our arrival. It was clear from the style of communication that they knew each other. They were talking about the same envelope that Subject 88 left. At the end of the conversation, they agreed to meet. Hmm. So they're going to meet up. All right, well, oh, where am I at now? Find apartment number 17. All right, let's have a look around. So, wow, what kind of apartment is this that has like a door like that? All right, so these are all like single digits. Yeah, we got to go up. It's got to be like second or third floor. 13, 14, 15. Okay, so it's up that on that side. And one more floor. This is kind of cool, though. It's like a murder mystery. But with, like, a fox. <laughs> oh, 17. All right, let's head in. Oh, is this where the next game is going to take place? Oh, what's this? What is this? Like, a collar? Check one, two, three. Buddy, can you hear me? I hope so. I apologize for not being able to meet you in person. I have my own reasons for this. I really hope you have the envelope. Oh. Your father risked everything to prevent this envelope from falling into the hands of the Collectionarium. Or even worse, into the hands of the creature that is now on your tail. Don't worry. He won't be able to get into this apartment. I've taken care of that. How do you know the that? The most important thing to remember is one thing. Do not open the envelope in any case. This can lead to sad consequences not only for you, but also for everyone around you. We have too little time. I have no right to detain you. Take this walkie-talkie. I'll help you from time to time. All right, let's get it. So now we have you our can friend. Find a train ticket in the next room. It will take you to the right place. When you arrive at your destination, I'll contact you again. Take tickets from the table. Wouldn't this be the next room? I guess not. Oh wait, is this a room I can go in? Oh yeah. Why is that door opening so slow? Oh, okay. What is that? That's the fox, dude. What does this say? Oh, I didn't even get the train ticket. I opened a book and I think I started the next night. Yeah. Yesterday we managed to get a more detailed description of the attacker. It turned out that the suspect is of our Pacticon origin. It sounds incredible, but... It corresponds with the description of a creature from an ancient Artacticon legend. Hmm. It is called... Lean Boog. Lean Boog, I think they call them? All the data on this case was transferred to the collection area because of our incompetence in this matter. Hmm. So he's like some ancient... thing. What? Am I on a train? What the... What does this say? How to play. Your task is to prevent the monster from entering the compartment. To do this, you need to carefully monitor the movement of the monster and close the door in time or exit the compartment in a timely manner. What? You need to carefully monitor the movement of the monster and close the door in time. Or you can exit it. Okay. The compartment you will need to enter will be highlighted. To close the door or exit the compartment, you need to press the key that appears on your screen. It is, it is extremely important to monitor the movement of the monster because otherwise the key will not appear on your screen. Oh, crap. So I have to go into the right room. Oh, man. This is going to be difficult. All right. I like this. This is really cool, though, how it's, like, different, like, areas that you go to. Okay, so... Oh, I've got to listen for what room he goes into? I think. What's this one now? Yeah, the timer started. Wait. This room. Okay. What the heck is going on? Oh boy, this is gonna be scary. I can hear him. I think he's... Oh my god. How do you do this? This is scary, I can hear him out there. Alright, well- OH MY GOD! Uh, R! Oh, oh, we have to hold it. Oh, man, I thought you just pressed it. 
Oh man, I wasn't sure like when they said key, I thought they meant like multiple keys would pop up like you'd go R and then E and you'd like press them to hold the door closed. But no, you just have to press the key and that's it. Oh man, all right, let's give this another shot. Let's go ahead and, I hope we're on medium. Yeah, let's do medium and start it up again. This is cool though. I thought it was gonna be the same thing. Like we were just gonna be in the house the whole time, but no. All right, so we gotta listen for the sound to go to first. All right, which room is it? I don't hear anything yet. One of these will make that like buzzing noise. Come on. Oh. I hear it in between. What? I didn't get in the room in time. Oh, okay. So that lit up. So it was this one. I heard it in between the room. Oh my God. Okay. Well, here he is. Holy moly. All right. So you've got a limited time to get into the room too. Man. It, it sounded like it was in between both rooms, but that's because it was coming from the light. That had to have been it. All right, let's try again. Yeah, that sound. I thought the sound was coming from the door, but it's coming from the light. All right. So we got to listen from, from which light it's coming from. Okay, listen. I don't hear anything yet. Come on. Oh, oh, the light lights up. Okay, so it's definitely this one. All right, get him. All right. What's the window for, though? I don't remember what it said in the instructions, but let's just keep listening for this side. So when we hear him, he'll try to... Oh my god, he sounds like he's out there. I think... Oh no, he's out here now. I think he can either show up out the window or the door, and that's what you have to choose. Yeah, left. He's, he's outside this door. Oh! What happened? Oh my god. Oh! T! Hold T! Okay. Okay, we got this. How long do I hold it? Hold T4. Okay, nice. He's still out there, though. R. R, R, R. Okay. We're doing good. We are doing good. Come on. He's still out there. Yep. That sounds like he's out there. I don't know. Oh! Oh my god, dude. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, I'm just gonna assume that he, he, I have to, oh my god, dude. Am I gonna lose? Okay, he's still, he's out here, I still hear him out here. Wait. Oh crap, dude, dude. Ah! Okay, I lost. Yeah, uh, what do I do? Crap. Yep, just eat me. The... <laughs> Okay, yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. This game is really cool, though. It really is. I like how you can, like, go to different levels and different environments, and, yeah, it seems really well made. I'm having a really good time with it. Um, if you guys want to see me play more, let me know. Leave a like on the video down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and if you made it to the end of this video, okay, drop a comment down below saying end. All right, let's see how many you guys did. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.